Good morning, guys. It's early. Um, we're headed up by we, I mean, me and the Red Dog uh, on our first official shed trip of 2024. We were going to do this last weekend, but we got hit with a pretty nasty snowstorm uh, that spanned the whole, I mean, most of the West. So we backed out. Um, we had a bunch of bulls spotted and uh, about a half dozen to a dozen had fully shed last weekend. So we backed out, let that storm move in and kind of um, congregate them up instead of bumping them out of the country. We let the weather do its thing and hopefully it hunkered them down when the storm hit and we'll find a couple piles of antlers. So that's, the, that's the goal, that's the hope, but the real goal today is one antler. So let's get to where we're going. We'll jump on the mountain quick. Trekking in, I probably hiked about a quarter mile, and I've got my first shed of the trip so far. This is a quick start. It's cold, but it's uh, warming up quick. Here is the latest pickup right here. Old chunky, small four-point deer shed. What do you think, Oaks? Huh? It's a good start to the day, huh? Or the trip, even. What do you think, bud? If we can strike early and often like that, it's gonna be a good day. It's already a good day. We're not caged up behind a desk or within four walls, so it's a great day. There's a whole lot of piles uh, of droppings right now. Some fresh, some old, but uh, it's definitely worth gridding around in here. I know it's just a deer antler, but there's a lot of elk sign in here, so let's check it out. Went on a little bit of a dry spell. I've uh, been zigzagging and following a lot of elk sign, a whole lot of elk sign, but so far it's just been uh, a whole a deer day, a deer morning, um, but literally in elk tracks and, and elk droppings, there's a, our second shed of the day, it's a nice, a nice two point deer, solid two point, old and chalky, so that's a good sign, nobody's been in here. Look at the dust flying off of this old horn. That's number two, man. And uh, any day you don't go skunked is a pretty good day. I uh, appreciate you guys reaching out on TikTok and Instagram and asking for YouTube stuff. So we'll see how this stuff hits. There's gonna be a lot to film this year. We'll see a lot of antler pickups. Let's pick this dude up. Number two on the day. been a pretty uneventful four and a half five miles we got two deer sheds to count for it which is awesome because there's no skunk and that's not a complaint but i think i'm gonna cut my cut my losses in this spot and go to another spot and uh see if we can't produce some elk sheds because i love finding deer sheds but uh i'm definitely here for big brown elk sheds so i'm gonna Beeline it back to the truck and uh, relocate. So stay tuned. I guarantee you, probably should not do that because that's a shed curse if it's ever been one, but I'm gonna tentatively guarantee you we'll find something either on the way back to the truck or on the next hike. So stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. spot it was a good choice no one he is yet this was a good choice I'm probably gonna go straight back up here in glass to see if we can't drum up another one this is my first elk shed of the trip of the day and I'm pretty stoked it's a red dog a little dude last year's for the pile that's three on the day let's uh give this valley some glass Come on, Oaks. Oakley. so just as you would expect when you don't have your pack is when you start finding horns i just looked up and glassed 
And I don't, I don't know if it's the other side, but it's, it's a ways away, so I'm gonna have to walk over there and grab it. But looked up in glass and I found another one. So I'm gonna carry this one and then go grab that one. It's a long ways away. This is another white antler too, so I'll take all the hard white horns I can get. These are just fine. Let's go pick this dude up. It was a long ways away, so I had it pegged incorrectly. I don't think, nope, there's two lefts or two rights. But uh, it's another hard white too. <laughs> and I'm just gonna cut back to the sage back to the truck because this was not even a planned hike. Yeah, I got some glass on view. I'm just going to kind of hop on these points in glass, some of these open meadows down in the sage, and I'm going to cut the sage back because it looks like all the tra all the tracks are coming up from the bottom. So I'm hoping that I can get down into the sage flat down here and uh, do some good work. Two rights. Do not make a wrong. <laughs> Sorry about the wind, you guys. We're going to find some runs. Uh, I know it's windy and I'm sure you probably can't hear me real well, but it's been a pretty uneventful end to the day. I'm just heading back to the truck now, but I'm kind of dragging. We've been putting on some miles and it's early, so I didn't expect too much. But uh, I'm going to head back to the truck and hit it again tomorrow in some different spots. So I'm going to help me get back to the truck. I'm going to take a, a hit a dead shot. It's a, it's a pixie stick. You don't need water. So I'm just going to take one of these and get myself a little bit of a boost the energy and uh, bring my focus back in too. If I can hone in for the last couple miles back in the truck, maybe I might save this hike, but we'll see. Come All right, so we're on day two I'm with my good buddies, Mike and Caleb of Dropped Tines. Where's Mike? There you go. And they're a little bearded lady dog and the red dog. And we are moved. We have moved spots. We moved all the way to the other side of, uh, of this whole situation. And we have found the bulls. We found some cows. But more importantly, we finally found like big groups of bulls, which is what we were looking for and we weren't finding on the other side. So there's some shed ones, there's some non-shed ones. It's still early, but we're gonna put on a lot of miles today in this spot and we'll either come out with horns or we'll come out weighing less in the in the butt and fat areas. Uh, just like yesterday, we're starting off with deer. Uh, that's an old, old chalk deer. But that's the first one of the day. Been hiking for about 30 minutes again. Um, that's my dog. Yeah, been hiking for about 30 minutes again. Again, deer horn right next to pretty fresh last mud elk sign. 15 on the year, and uh, that's the icebreaker for the day that we needed. So, <laughs> cannot complain, man. We'll go work on getting some more. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm riding the spine right now. There's a herd about two miles down this way that I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on as I get closer. So I make sure I don't bump them, of course. I just wanna get closer to look and see uh, what's holding and what's not. We spotted them from way back here, but I'm not sure uh, what's got horns and what's doesn't, or what doesn't. It looked like there were a few shed bulls in there. So um, let's get over there and check it out. Ice has been broken for the day, so let's go pick up some more. Think about that. Just like that, I believe we found the same age. There's number 16 on the year. Chunky, he's chunky. He was laying tines up and I almost walked right by him because I was glassing over here at a white spot that I thought was a horn. Um, it wasn't. I went to put my binos down and I saw this out of the periphery. I almost walked right by this. Goes to show you, we probably missed a lot let's go find some elk though man let's go well, this is certainly not a complaint but i cannot get out of the deer sheds i just glassed up my third deer shed i'm gonna go pick him up a long ways away but uh i'm out of the elk sign so i've got to drop elevation or do something to make a change here uh because these bulls were lower than what i've been seeing i'm starting to see tracks again as i drop but gotta make a change right now I'm just picking up deer three for the day number 17 for the year not a bad deal let's get this third deer shed on the back and let's go find some elk sheds 
getting silly. pink all right we are gonna I think this is a good set of horns to send off to the shed gods Shimon and I uh, Shimon and Honda sacrifice the sheds you quit you're ruining this the ritual quit it you quit it you're ruining the ritual <laughs> you quit you get out of there Get out of there, you. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Alright. Ritual complete, I guess. Okay, well. A pretty decent deer shed. The fact that this is chalky is awesome. Because that means there's nobody back here, but it's also super sad because this is a great deer shed, man. Holy. That's a good buck. That makes the hike a lot better. Still no elk sheds, but a bomber deer. So I'm not one to normally tell people like how to do things. I do like to offer some tips when I can, if I think it's helpful. Uh, I don't tell people how to do stuff because you know everybody's got their own style and certain things work for certain people. But if I could offer one piece of advice, I would not have found that shed, that deer shed just now had I not been doing what I normally do and looking behind me, especially in sage. If you're in sage and you're panning and you're looking left, right, left, right, and you're just kind of strolling and walking, looking down to make sure you don't trip, make sure to stop every now and then, every three, four, five, six steps, and you don't even have to stop. Just look behind you. Look at the back of some of the sage that you just passed, and I guarantee you, you're gonna end up turning more deer sheds up, even elk sheds. Um, I would not have found that shed had I not just taken a second to look back. So take it for what it's worth, but it's a pretty handy tip. Well, it's windy. It's the second hike of the day. You notice I got my lucky shed head on. It's absolutely disgusting, but it just paid off for me because I just found my first brownie of the trip. But uh, I'm walking up on it right now. I didn't expect to find a brownie this trip. I hoped I would, but I didn't expect it. And look at that. What do you think, babes? What do you think? Uh, you think the babes? What do you think the babes? All right, first brownie of the trip. Candy white burrs. It's brown, and I'm stoked as ever. So I'm gonna go try to find some more. Let's hope we can find another one. Let's put this on the old initial ascent. First of many, I hope. I fully credit this find to the shed sacrifice from earlier. Had we not done that, I don't think we would have found it. Any experts out there, can they tell me what that is? A little hint, put your fingers in it. It's hard. It smells. It smells just like old piss. It's a pretty cool thing to find this time of year. Um, it's a good indicator that you should maybe start grinning for horns. Um, so, type in the comments. Let me know what you guys think that is. I don't know what this is yet, so we're gonna find out together. I just glass this up. Looks like a deer shed. Where I was, and it, it's a raghorn elk. <laughs> I did not expect that, that's funny. 
Little raghorn elk for number 21 of the season. We're starting to find some elk now, which is good. It's chalky. I don't know if you guys can hear me because of the wind, but it's funny. You find a red spot in the dirt, and all of a sudden you start getting into elk sheds. So there's another hint as to what that might be. Let me know in the comments. Let's pick this bad boy up. So if you haven't figured out yet what that red stuff is, that is a testosterone dump for elk that are starting to drop all the testosterone, which is the cause of damage from the elk in his head. So I just uh, tines down, glassed up another brownie. I saw it was the bird. I thought it was a bird. Dude, it's not. It is an elk chip. And it might be a side by side set, you guys. Yes, sir. It is. It is in a deer shed. Look at this. Holy hell. All right, so walking up. I find a brown, that's a brown deer shed for this area. Look at that. They are side by side on top of each other. <laughs> How's that for pretty? Just a short, stubby, side by side elk set. Yes, sir. That bull is not big enough to be by himself. So we're gonna grid this sage and see if we can't find one of his little buddies that did the same thing somewhere in here. Let's pick these up. This is awesome. All right, so I'm actually using the deer shed to prop up the phone. <laughs> Look at this chunky little jerk. That's wild. Brown, small, but it's just a cool way to walk up on an antler. Side by side, laying right on top of each other. Onto the initial ascent they go. here to my right <laughs> it looks like it's a pretty good horn let's go check it out no way I, was, I got way excited when I looked up and saw this thing it's just a little five no it's not it's a side-by-side -side sit what is going on right now what's up Bokley did you find them you found them huh? I saw this guy from down below I had no idea there was another horn up here. They just peeked up the hill just a bit after I took five steps. And there's his little buddy. Come on, man. Two things. The red stuff, I told you. The other thing, if you can afford a chalk or a shed to sacrifice, I don't know how superstitious you are. Highly doubt you can hear me. This is the first one I saw. Just beautiful white candy burr. And then he's little buddy. I think the shed sacrifice, well, I don't think, it's worked. Now, I just don't know how many I'm allowed to find under the same shed sacrifice, but I got another one right in front of me here. 
Oh, this is eight on this hike. It's a the hard white from last year. These bulls over here have been like super sagey. They just been hanging in the sage. Pick him up, put him on. Let's just keep rolling, man. Well, I asked for it. Here's number nine on this hike. Number 14 on the day. Same age. Put him on the pack. And uh, just, uh, just keep doing this, I guess. Let's just keep doing this. This is fun. Wow, what a day. March 22nd, you guys. This is the earliest, best day I've had. Hopefully we said we wanted heavy packs, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Thanks, babes. Yeah. You tired? Yeah. Oh, well, we got a ways to go. Thanks for licking my glasses. That will help in the next shed find. I actually have to sit down and put my pack on now. This is uh silly. <laughs> Let's get back in the truck. I suppose this would be a pretty good time to take a second to talk about initial ascent and why their packs are so amazing. I have a lot of people ask what my pack recommendation is and um, it's without hesitation initial ascent. I've tried them all over the last 10, 15, 20 years and every single one left me desiring something more, something better under a heavy load and uh, I found Initial Ascent three years ago and uh, I called the owner, talked with them about their packs as I had never heard of them before and then after being fully informed on what their capabilities are I jumped into it and bought one. I tried this pack and the first time I put a load on it I was absolutely one over and I knew that I found the pack that was going to be on my back for the rest of my problem again career. Um, it's a 19 ounce carbon fiber. It's a 19 ounce carbon fiber composite frame. It's completely modular. It will run with any bag on the same suspension system with the hip belt and shoulder straps. They've made some upgrades from their flagship line to their 2024 line with uh, thicker shoulder pads, better position hip pads and thicker hip pads, um, a better locking front buckle on the hip, uh, open-ended clips for your sternum straps so you can run that higher or lower. They've widened the holes in the, in the lid so that it sits on the ears of the famous, in my opinion, Tegris initial ascent frame. So if you're looking for a bag, or a pack rather. This is actually in day mode. This is just, I've got nine sheds on my back right now, approximately 65 to 80 pounds. I'm just hiking in the mountains with that much weight on my back and it's, it's a non-event. The reason for that is, obviously you have to spend time in the mountains and be in decent shape. But another reason is this pack sits and is designed to do exactly what it's doing right now and that's carry a heavy load. So underweight, I'm actually not slumped over, I'm walking regular, I'm not even using my sticks with that much weight on my back. Now I've had, I've had the pleasure of packing out a half a bull multiple times on this pack with gear and all that stuff. So does the pack out still suck in that regard? Yeah, but it sucks less. And uh, that's kind of the whole point. If you've ever hauled out a pack full of sheds, you know that it's an awkward load. No matter how you stack it, it's usually pretty awkward. And for that to be sitting as comfortably and as tight to my back as it is, it's just a safer way to get heavy weight out of the mountains, guys. So my advice to you would be, if you're in the market for a pack, please check out Initial Ascent. It's not like I get paid or anything like that if you go buy one. That's not what I represent these guys for. I do it because they're amazing people and they've got an absolutely amazing product that performs at or above its intentions per design. So check them out. We're headed back to the truck. If I find any more, I'll reach out to you. But otherwise, I'm going to wrap this 
this shed weekend up. It's early. I hope to hit you with a lot more of this stuff if that's what you want. Um, I appreciate you guys requesting it. I hope I'm going to put this together in a decent way where it's enjoyable to watch and uh, hope it gets you motivated to go pick up some sheds and just to get out in the mountains. Thanks everybody. Appreciate it. We'll catch you next time. Thought the mountain was done with us. I just glassed up a giant, giant. That's a brown deer shed though, bud. Good job, little girl. That's good job. I think this will be the last shed of the day, but it's another little tiny brown deer shed. I know it's white and it looks hard white, but these deer out here are unbelievably light horned. Um, this is a brown. We don't get the quality uh, chocolate brown mule deer in this unit, but you can see the wax ring still all there. So just when I thought the mountain was done with us, Pew. little tiny guy. Just when I thought the mountain was done with us. That's 15 on the day and I'm heading back to the truck right now to be done because that's mile, I'm on mile I'm on mile 14 right now, which is a pretty average day, but let's get back to the truck, get rested up, and until the next one, see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it.